Okay, so this one's got three parts, and the first two, I think, are pretty basic. If you haven't already done the problem, you should do so before watching the video. I'll start with part A. Um, the charge on the positive plate, well, we're given the capacitance and the voltage between the plates and the separation of the plates, little d. Uh, I'm going to use the uh, capacitor equation, Q equals C delta V. Right, because uh, we know the capacitance is 5 times 10 to the minus 9, which is 5 nanofarads. And we know the potential difference between the plates is 0.012. And so the charge on the positive plate is 6 times 10 to the minus 11 coulombs. Right? Charge on the negative plate is uh, 6 times, is negative 6 times 10 to the minus 11. But uh, when we're talking about the charge on a capacitor, we just talk about the charge on one plate. For part B, it asks for the surface area of the positive plate. Well, uh, the equation for the capacitance is that C is equal to that area over 4 pi kd, right? where k is the Coulomb constant and d is the separation between the plates. And we know the separation between the plates and the capacitance. So I'm going to rewrite this as the area is just equal to 4 pi kd times c. So 4 pi times the Coulomb constant times the plate separation, which is 0.5 millimeters multiplied by the capacitance, which is 5 times 10 to the minus 9. You multiply that out and that gives you 0 0.28 square meters. <clears throat> All right, now part C is the tricky one. So we have a, uh, so between these two plates, we have a positive plate here and the negative plate, and we have a uniform field. All right, here's the electric field. And a positive charge starts here and gets pushed over this way. Now the delta S that it travels, the distance that it travels between the plates is 0.5 millimeters. Um, so uh, we want to know the speed the proton will have when it hits the negative plate. The easiest way to do this would be uh, work energy, right? To say that the sum of the works done by all the forces in the problem is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Well, the only force that's acting on this uh, proton, the only picking force, is the electric force. So we'll say the work done by the electric force is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Now in this case, remember there's three ways to calculate work. Uh, the first way is to take the force and multiply by the displacement, multiply by cosine theta. right? And then we set that equal to the change in kinetic energy, which uh, is easy enough. The final the, the final kinetic energy is what we're looking for here. The initial kinetic energy, of course, is zero because the proton starts from rest. Uh, now, we can use this formula here for calculating work because the field is uniform and the uh, uh, displacement angle is the same and so forth. It doesn't change over time. So, uh, I can just write Q, the charge of a proton, times the electric field times the displacement is equal to the final kinetic energy. So we need to find the electric field now, which I hadn't done yet. So we have a couple of different sort of ways to find the electric field. Uh, one way is to use E equals 4 pi k sigma, right? Um, which is equal to 4 pi k q over a. And, and we can do that here because we know q from up here and we know the area from right here. So I can say it's 4 times pi times the Coulomb constant times the charge divided by the area, 0.28. And uh, if I work that calculation through, I get 24. And the, the units are newtons per coulomb, or if you prefer, it's 24 volts per meter.
Okay. Another way that we can do the electric field here, since it's uniform, recall that the um, electric field is equal to the potential difference divided by the distance. Right? And the potential difference is 0 0.012, and the distance is 0 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3, and that's also 24 volts per meter. Right? So either way you uh, slice it, you get the same electric field. So going back to our work energy equation, right? Uh, if, I, if I plug 24 volts per meter in to my electric field, then, uh, and, and then I get uh, what I get 1.92 times 10 to the minus 21 over on the left hand side and then the right hand side I have to use it's a proton that's moving through the field right so I have to use the mass of a proton in my kinetic energy equation and so if you solve that you get uh, V squared is equal to 2.3 times 10 to the sixth and therefore V, the final velocity, is 1,500 meters per second.